This week on the Sportsman Experience, Jim is headed offshore with his brother and two good buddies from Sportsman Boats. They plan to head out in hopes of filling the fish boxes by bottom fishing some different reefs just offshore of their home waters in Charleston, South Carolina. There he is, all three, three Triple up, triple up, triple up. Right. Triple up. <laughs> I got Kobe everywhere. Jim, look, you just jump back in the boat, man. Look at that big shark out there. There's yeah. a big shark out there. Three or four yeah, of them yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that, he's swimming with it. There he is, he thought it was oh, right there. Oh, he got it. <laughs> he's bumping it, bumping it. There he goes. Get him now. Fishing is a lifelong passion. The pursuit of new species and lifelong memories is why we are up before dawn and coming home salty in the evening. My name's Jim Isaac, lifelong fisherman, boat builder, and student of the water. Join us as we bring along family and friends to pursue new waters, learn new methods, and enjoy our time together outdoors. Welcome to the Sportsman Experience. Charleston, South Carolina, known for its history and great tourism spots. Whether you're downtown enjoying places like the Battery or Rainbow Row, Shim Creek exploring the rich commercial fishing history and sought after cuisine, or visiting one of the many local historical military attractions, there's always something for everyone here. But one thing you may not know is that the Low Country is home to one of the best fisheries on the Atlantic Ocean. Whether you're targeting inshore redfish, offshore bottom fish, or large pelagics, Charleston has it all. All right, so this week I have Jeff and Richie from Sportsman Boats with me. These guys are like best buddies, but total opposites. All right, I brought us Two bottom rods each, two spinning rods each. I got terminal lures, leaders all ready to go. That's about it. Good deal. I brought the donuts. Got the donuts. Richie's quiet, keeps to himself, but he loves to fish. Jeff, on the other hand, all he does is talk about bottom fishing. He eats and sleeps bottom fishing. He has every piece of gear known to man, and he brings it all with him. Got my numbers. Most important thing. All right, just grab whatever and we'll come back and get the rods in a second. All right. Oh, good morning, good morning. All right, you got it. Have you ever heard the saying, everything but the kitchen sink? Well, Jeff brings the kitchen sink. I thought our camera guys had a lot of gear, but Jeff outdoes them every time. He even brings his own Garmin unit along in case he needs to mark any of my spots along the way. Jeff brought 13 bags of tackle. Yeah, see, I was telling my brother, I said, you've never seen somebody that labels their tackle like Jeff. <laughs> I said, everything's labeled. He's Every a label night. maker in his tackle bag. Yeah, exactly. Got plenty of nets. All right, roll. This is blowing pretty good right now. All right, I'm gonna rig up some chicken rigs real quick just to get a couple of rods ready. Hey, what's going on everybody? We're out here um, taking the Open 352 today. We're gonna head out and do some bottom fishing. We've got Jeff Hudson and Richie. I've got my brother with me, John Harden. Um, we're gonna try to get out there. It's a little, bit, a little bit windy today, a little bit choppy, but we're gonna try to get out here and uh, see what we can do. Try to catch a little mix of bottom, jump around from different spots, and uh, yeah, see what we can do. These are small, that's what I tell you. It's not like mm -hmm. a full size donut. I'm gonna hold one for too long. Yeah, I'm not hating on the donuts. I'm just trying to avoid them. They're, they're impossible to avoid, though. Especially when they're sitting right there. Yeah, Richie put them right there in my view. Well, throughout the day when you've been handling menhaden all day, you get a little menhaden oil on your fingers and you eat one of these, 
lick your fingers? That's the best one. Gives that little natural flair to it. Man. I don't know about that. All good. All right, here we go. Three and a half weeks after knee surgery. Yeah. Get to go offshore. Hey guys, we're out here fishing on the Open 352 Sportsman today. And real quick, just wanted to go over some of the really awesome features that help us when we're offshore fishing. First and foremost, you gotta keep your bait in great shape. So our uh, port and starboard, 30 gallon pressurized aquarium live wells do an awesome job of keeping that bait uh, nice and safe throughout a long ride offshore. Uh, you don't have to worry about your bait getting beat up because these live wells are pressurized. Uh, one of the things that uh, we also have on this boat is a Sea Keeper 3 which is an amazing uh, piece of equipment here that keeps the boat nice and stable while we're offshore. We've also got port and starboard 234 quart fish boxes. And these are macerated, so you can load these boxes with fish and they will hold ice all day long. And that way we can get our fish back and uh, get them filleted up and they're nice and fresh and ready to, to go to the table. And uh, it's just a great layout for offshore fishing, for bottom fishing, for trolling, for whatever type of fishing that you're looking to do. So that kind of wraps up the Open 352. As you can see, this boat's got it all. It's a hardcore fishing boat when you're wanting to go offshore. So 352 does it all. Now we're gonna get back to the action. All right, we're out here uh, just, just getting out of the waterway. We're kind of getting into the harbor right now. Um, just starting to look for some bait. Birds are starting to wake up. So hopefully we see some pelicans diving here soon. Um, I was out here yesterday and found some bait right outside of Shim Creek up here. And there's some right off of Morris Island. So. We're gonna go and try to, no real big congregations, but there's definitely plenty of men hating around, so we're gonna go try to find some and put them in the live wells. Hey, so, look at the radar. Yeah, I saw we one just flip right in front of us. Yeah, we just went over. Look at the thing. Yeah, we went over a pot of them. I yeah. just can't see them. Yeah, they're Those flicking all around us. Yeah, hey, they're everywhere. Right there. Yeah, just go forward about 30 yards, Jim, and I'll just. About 30 throw. yards forward, Richie. They're just hard to see in this, in this chop. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. I hear them. Oh yeah, I hear him right there. Oh yeah, right beside the boat. Yep, there they are right there. That's perfect. All right, Richie, you got neutral? Yep. Back it up. Oh yeah, I got him. Are you backing up? Yep. All right. Yeah, let me get that one. I'll get these and stick them in there. There's a couple decent sized ones yeah, in there. Yeah, most of them are. Fatty right there on top. Yeah. Yeah, those are set perfect. Wash this out. Those are all juvenile pelicans right there. Screen. <laughs> Where's you out throwing this net a couple times? Oh, it smell like menhaden the rest of the day too. <laughs> How's my physique looking? Looking good. Looking good. Good shot with the sun behind you. Get like a muscle in there. Oh, just looking. <laughs> so today we're heading about 15 miles off of Charleston. We're gonna be fishing about 50 to 60 feet of water. Uh, the last few weeks I've been fishing this spot and it's been loaded with cobias. So we should get on them pretty good today. I mean, we're marking some good marks, like some big marks right underneath us right here. Go off your left, right-hand side, Jarn. We're marking a ton of stuff down below us. Oh, there you go. Here. It's not there on. You go. Uh, still not on. Or small, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. We're sitting right on top of it. Nice little cobia. Anybody with him? Yeah, little guy. Oh, yeah. What was it? Cobia. Oh, look at that. Go ahead, Ricky. <laughs> I'll let you tangle with that sucker. Yeah. Yeah, he's too small. MP36. So look at the look at the needles on his back. 
They're pretty fish. There should be a bunch of them here after these. Oh, you got one? There you go. Yeah, maybe the fish are coming up under the boat. That'd be nice. Here he is. And jumped out the water. <laughs> right. Another cobia? Look like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, a little tiny one. A little feisty little sucker. That's awesome. They're here. There'll be a big one down there somewhere. Yeah. Got him. Nice cobia. Second one down, second fish. Pretty, a little too small. Go back and get his little bigger one here. I'll let him go. All right. The cobia are definitely on the reef today. The boys have several fish on the boat and they're just getting started. The goal is to catch a few keepers, and the South Carolina regulations require cobia to be 36 inches to the fork of the tail. That's a good sized fish and should make for a few tacos. Got it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Hooked up. Yep. Yeah. Got you hooked up? Yep. Yeah, looks like maybe another cob. Yep, feels like it. God, we should be a keeper, that's all. I want to throw one on ice. This one definitely feels better than that other one. Yeah, there it is. He's digging. Hopefully there there'll be one with it. Get up on the bow if you need to or let me know. I'm trying to keep it up here because the wind's blowing around yeah. every time I try to move. Take it for a ride. Let it be that keeper. Having a big boat like the 352 is a blessing on a day like today. With all the people and camera gear that we have, it's nice to be able to fish all around the boat and still have plenty of room to not trip over each other. There you go, you got one too? Yo, all right. Yeah. You can get up there too. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing the pack up with him. I'm about to get bit right here, it feels That's like. What we you know they're all hanging out together. There he is. <laughs> oh, three, three by Triple up. up, triple up. All triple right. up. Go ahead. Go up here, team. Following the school around. Following the school. I'm behind you. Oh. Oh, it's a keeper right here, buddy. Is it? Bring it this way. Yeah, I've got this one. I'll go. Where's Richie? the gaff? Huh? Go around me. I got a big one on too. Yeah. Go around me. Uh, All right, go. He's, we got he's. You think? No. You sure? All right. Yeah. Let me see. No, he's close. He's not. I don't think he's a keeper. keeper. Let me grab the gloves real quick. I'm always a man. We'll have to put the tape ready? on him. Uh, let me get he's like that. right at it. This is a pretty good fish, guys. Yeah, yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. I'll lie in the way. Oh, yeah. All right. Watch out, Jeff. Watch out. Jeff, do you have a uh, tape? Darn yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Just All a right. short yeah, cobia. Yeah. Nice. All right. Oh, we just lost him. Golly, that was a good fish, too. Man, he come on. Broke me off. That was a big fish. So when you get into the big schools of cobia like this, the action can get crazy. It's comical watching these guys chase these cobia around the deck in three to four foot seas. I'm telling them, get them back in the water so we can get some more lines in. All right. Come on, buddy. Me and the D-hooker aren't doing too well. Yeah. All right, finally. All right, Jeff. Jeff. Cobia six, Jeff zero, so. All right, Jeff, you get your tape. <laughs> We're going to throw it on this one. Let me get yep. the tape. Should be a little short. Yeah. 30 and one. Let's see. How was it? How big? 31. I guarantee you. Hey, look, he's a fat-headed one, though. Well, I guarantee you. That's I thought he's a keeper. There's probably 40 of them in there. Get down in the water, man. Like, uh, yeah, so we got into some Kobe out here. Um, it's pretty rough, but we're, we're trying to hold bottom, but it's, uh, it's we had a lot of wind on it today. So we're, uh, yeah, we just tripled up on Kobia, lost one, got two in the boat, no keepers yet. Um, but we're like, there's a bunch of them on this little piece of structure. So we're, we're kind of going back and forth and we're gonna keep on beating on them here for a little while. You wanna clarify who's got off and who got theirs in the yeah. boat? Can you clarify that? Jeff is struggling. Richie, Richie's leading the pack on the Kobia right now. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? Oh yeah. You got one? Yeah. Nice. There I was just about to say, hopefully one will grab it too. This is a better fish. They're trying to find a uh, home, so. Whoa, Kobe oh, yeah. came up and got it right at the boat. Right. Oh. You see that? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a Kobe. He's surfing. Let me go over here. Sorry. Jimmy came. He hit it right at the, a foot under the water. This one's burning down, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Golly. Little tiny one, huh? Yeah. This one's not very big either. Oh, he's got someone else's rig in his mouth. Oh, I no. wonder if that's mine. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, 
things that are slippery and they got those spines. One thing about cobia is they have extremely sharp spines along their back, so you have to be really careful handling them. These fish are also extremely jumpy when they're green, as John Harden's about to find out, releasing this cobia. I mean, it's pretty much the same pictures you already got. Yeah. yeah. Jim, look, he just jumped back in the boat, man. Slippery. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Uh, no. <laughs> it's been a heck of a morning so far for the guys. The cobia do not seem to be slowing down just yet. Watching these fish, you'll notice they school up all together, and when one person hooks up, it's not long before the rest do too. It's this that makes cobia fishing fun and action packed. But generally, where there are cobia, there are also sharks. Cobia like to swim with sharks, feeding off of the scraps. But when you hook a cobia, the tables can take a very quick turn. You hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. <laughs> Sneaked one. Say so when, Jim. Um, we're way off the spot, but Richie just hooked one, so there's probably fish down there. I'm kind of right here in front of you, but I'm trying yeah, to see if I can catch one. I'll hook up, see if we can get another one. Oh, no. Too hard. Fish on. Fish on. That's a good one here. He's up under the boat. That's a pretty good fish, guys. You want to go to the bow? You think you're good right there? I think I'm okay for right now. Well, right swim right up now. to the boat. Oh, yeah. Cobia? Cobia? Yeah. Shark. Shark. Big shark. Oh, is there any, is there yeah. any uh, cobia? Let's see if you can grab him real quick. That big yeah, shark's big underneath shark. him. Oh. Yeah, he's still green. Just grab him. There you go. Woo, that shark was big longer. too. Yeah, that was a big yeah. shark. Yeah. That was bigger. Here you go. That shark That's a little heavier fish. Yeah, I for think sure. he might be. Right here. Oh yeah, no fish on with him though. Uh -huh. Look at that shark. He's about to eat him. <laughs> Look how big he is. He's 200, awesome 250 there. pounds. Oh, oh, there he's got one the Oh yeah, he's got he's a got, mountain team underneath him. He's got one or two fish. Yeah, he's got a little tiny one. Look how big he is. He's got one cobia on him. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't know if he's quite legal. Is it to the fork or overall? It's to the fork. It's 33. No, he's 33. Biggest one of the day, though. Yeah, the other day. Look at that big shark out there. There's yeah. a big shark oh, out there. Three or four yeah, of them yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah. That's why we might catch the big cobia. Oh, yeah, look at them. They're coming out from there. Yeah. Here we go. Here's one right here. All right. Ah. Tell everybody oh, goodbye. Shit. Yeah, they're going to be on. Oh, yeah. Get that shark oh, yeah. and get him. <laughs> Great job. That was a good one. <laughs> shark. <laughs> Now you got a little tiny cobia. <laughs> yeah, they got the cobia on them. There's the shark. The shark's gonna get it. Oh, that. That was the one that was on them. Shark. Shark. Yeah, the shark. Dude, that was a huge cobia. Did you see? Too. Did you see that one? Uh, the one big shark that came out on the outside? Yeah. Oh, it was like a tiger. Or it was something like a tiger. Yeah. yeah. And then this other was like sandbars or something. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Next week on the Sportsman Experience. The guys have had their fair share of cobia and the tax man is pushing them out. So it's time for the guys to run to their next spot about 25 miles further out to some large natural reefs. Oh, oh yeah, I got him too, got him one! Two, double up, double it up. Nice grouper, oh, oh boy! Dude, he had to bend, man, he's fighting like a... That's the question of the day, what the heck is it? It's gotta be a grouper. All right, I'm gonna he had you at first. Man, I couldn't do anything with that fish. I thought I was in the You're block. the grouper, man, we wanna see some grouper. That's right. I got color. I think it's a red snapper. Big red snapper. Big one? Oh, big grouper. Really? Bad guy grouper. Hey. Keeper. Keeper? Yeah. Oh, oh no! There he goes! <laughs> that was a stud. Oh, that was awesome.